ESU's Jennifer Crockett is live along the lakefront in Metairie, and Jennifer, leaders are bracing for a triple threat here. Well, Sean, I think at this point it's uh, less of a threat and more of a promise. High winds, high tides, and lots and lots of rain. Let me give you a live look at the Bonneville boat launch now where you can see all three in full effect. But there's another problem, and it comes from the river. This tropical storm coming to town at the same time as the mighty Mississippi is already above flood level. The high water on the Mississippi has nothing to do with tropical storm Cindy in the Gulf. The river's been elevated for about a month now. However, high tides are another thing the Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authorities and the Army Corps of Engineers have to prepare for. Everything is in excellent shape. Uh, we have a hundred year level of protection uh, from hurricane storm surge and uh, the river as well. We're in very good shape. Uh, we've inspected all of our system and uh, we're very confident in our abilities to handle not only this event, but other events in the future. That's over here on the East Bank. I visited with the West Bank authorities too. They said all the levees there are functioning as expected. They do plan to have to close the Bayou Signet sector floodgate tomorrow. That's Wednesday because of anticipated high water there. Reporting in Metairie, Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.